All right, welcome back. Let's pick things back up in Cougar country. Cass and Manorville taking on Zambroda Mazeppa. Cougars push the ball up the floor. Caden Roderick finds Hunter Stripe for two. Cougars up 13-4 in the first half. KM needing a push. Ethan Lee has the answer from downtown Belchester. That's for Chuck Sibley and Mark Palos. He gets the three to drop, 18-10 the score. And let's take a look at the inbound pass. James Eikhoff with the fake, and he gets to the bucket. The friendly roll, 2010 Cougars. Comets ball now. Easton Seuss with a defender on his back. Misses the first, but gets his rebound and one. But it wouldn't be enough for KM as the Comets fall on the road to Zambroda Mazeppa. Caden Roderick with the game high 17 points and completing the double double with 13 boards and two assists. To Pine Island, the Panthers facing the Lord Eagles. Pick this one up in the first half as well. Panthers ball in Sven Oberg's hands. He nails the three. Panthers up 23 to 9. Other end we go. Eagles with the inbound. Now you see, folks, this is why the most dangerous person on the inbound is the person who threw the ball in. Samuel Theobald gets the board and the bucket. Eagles down by 10. Other end, some congestion in the lane. Brant Koenig assists Oberg with another three-pointer. Panthers go up 28 to 13. A little later, Oberg with the miss, we'll see here, but Blake Schlitz with the rebound. He puts that up for a quick two. Panthers go into halftime with a 19-point lead, and there was no looking back. The number one seed, oh, excuse me, let's look at the final there. Pine Island 66, Lured 62, the final there in PI. Cannon Falls, Lake City, a big game here. The number one seed, Lake City, was actually down 37 to 29 at halftime, but they went on a 41 to 10 run. Out of the half, Ryan Heisey with 20 points. Lake City goes on to win 75-54. And I believe, Cammy, Lake City still undefeated. I want to say it's 14 and 0 now on the season. Yeah, so a good rebound there in the second half for them. Fillmore Central winning this one over Southland 51 to 46. Mabel Canton beating Alden Conger 78 to 65. Oh, and we have some stats from that game. Mabel Canton's Caden Tolsrud with 28 points on the night. Alton Conger's Kyle Hanstead had 23. All right, here now on the girls' side, Pine Island in Rochester tonight, taking on the eighth-ranked Lord Eagles. Lord getting on the board here really early. Off the tip, Ella Hopkins with the tip right to Vivica Breton. She gets a quick two. It's a two-nothing game very early. The Eagles came out of the gate hot. Breton with another bucket. She's got the touch, dropping this tray to put Lord up five-zip. The Eagles holding that number eight ranking for a reason. The 6'3 center and Gonzaga commit. Ella Hopkins with the move down low and puts the Eagles. They're up 12 here. A Pine Island looking to strike back, though, trying to get their first field goal of the game. Reese Kanan would find the open three, fires it up and scores. But it was all lured tonight in this one. Eagles win 61 to 14. Eagles win that one 61 to 14. Elsewhere, Lake City. Tigers get a road win over Cannon Falls, 52-37, the final score there. Another page here, we're going to go here to Century next. Panthers, they're playing host to Mankato West, a big nine battle in this one. We'll join in second half, Panthers up 10, but here come the Scarlets. Nearly a steal, West stays with it, Livy Downs cashes out from three. Next possession, West bringing it around town. Theresa Kiewit in the corner at three ball, pure in just minutes, the Century lead Cut down to four. A Panthers with an answer. Taylor Clary, small hesitation, then straight to the cup for two. Century up six. And Clary misses here on the jumper, but Audrey Whitney there for the putback and one. In the hoop and the harm. The Panthers keep it rolling in transition here. Clary, absolute dime to Whitney ahead. Easy two goes down. Century up 11 as the Panthers roll to a win over Mankato West. 59. 244, the final score there. Elsewhere, Mayo, 13th ranked Mayo, beats Winona 64 to 53. That win streak keeps going for Mayo. Hannah Hansen, 17 points in the win for Mayo there. Elsewhere, Owatonna knocks off 15th ranked Mankato East, 48 to 37. And Austin, they beat John Marshall, 14th ranked Packers, 81 to 54 at home there. Other page, Northfield beats Faribault, 43 to 34. Eighth ranked Red Wing, they beat Albert Lee on the road, 60. 244 there. All right, our next game. Yeah, let's head to Hayfield once again on the girls' side. We're unranked Maple River of Mapleton facing the sixth ranked Vikings. Julian, look at this light show. This is okay, not only did they have the Vikings horn, the flag, the girls were on the on the floor and they had the 
the light on them. It was a spectacle. As Coach Crackling said. First half we go. Kristen Watson in the corner. She sinks the three to put the Vikings on the board. Three nothing. But other end, Claire McGregor, she drives left and is able to beat Watson's D with the reverse. Two points. Three two the score. It doesn't take long for the Vikings to capitalize again on the other end. Watson with the land. She finishes the night with 17. Her teammate, number 25, Natalie Beaver, with a big night this evening as well. She trails her teammate, gets the quick bucket. That's two of her 25 for the night. Eagles wouldn't give up, pushing the ball up the floor. McGregor again finds the paint on her own and lays it in with her left hand to make it a three-point game. But the Vikings win this one pretty big, 60-34. to They head to rush for Peterson tomorrow. And Hayfield is now 14-2 and on the season, 60-34 to the final. Still ranked number six there for Hayfield. Grand Meadow ranked number 15th with a win over Southland, 51-32, to the final down there. Another page, Kenan Wanamingo, WEM, no score. And Randolph losing to NRHEG, 52-48, to the final. Mabel Canton beating Lyle Pacelli tonight, 66-36. to And Lanesboro beating Leroy Ostrander, 70-49, to the final. And one more here, we have Medelia losing to ACGE, 70-53. to A lot more to come here on Sports Extra, as well as our KTDC Play of the Week, of course. Yeah, that's right. Plus, the RCTC women's basketball team, they're undefeated on the season. A Sterling, 13-0. With my head coach, Jason Bondi, after the break.